वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू टेक एल सी एम ऑफ फ्रैक्शन ओके बट बिफोर बिगनिंग विद दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल ऑल ऑफ यूर दैट यू नीड टू हैव अ वेरी क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ टू टेक एल सी एम and hcf of any given set of numbers okay in case you all have doubts or you do not know how to do that then i have made separate videos on both the link of those are available in the description you can go ahead and check it out and then come back to this video because only then you will understand how to do this very very quickly okay so now please understand whenever you have lcm of fractions All you have to do is take LCM of numerators and in the denominator of your final answer will be HCF of all the denominators. Okay, so let's begin using this particular formula. Okay. Over here, what will be the LCM of the numerators, which is two, three, and four? So your final answer would be three into four divided by five, ten, and twenty. And out of all these three, we need to take the HCF. Okay. So what is the HCF over here? Basically, that means highest common factor. So that means HCF over here would be five. Why five? Because five is the only number which is going in all of these denominators. Okay, so your final answer would be twelve upon five. Now, uh, for all of you all, if you have doubts that while taking the LCM, why didn't I take two? I did not take two because two four is the number which is already coming in two table. If you have any number which comes in another numbers of table, then what you just need to do is take the previous number which is coming. in the table okay and you just ignore the smaller number okay so over here we got the final answer as 12 upon 5 now please understand in many of your uh, entrance exams they want you to type in the answers or you they want you to write the answers and you do not get options okay so in that case i would recommend that since this is an improper fraction you have to convert it into proper form so your answer will be 2 2 upon 5 okay students if you are liking the way i am explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also students don't forget at the end of this video i'll put up a diy question whose answer you will solve using the trick shown over here or other using the formula shown over here okay and uh, you will put up your answers in the comment section i will definitely read those and let you know whether you are right or wrong okay so now over here we have 15 5 and 45 okay so now see looking at the lcm it's very very simple here you look at the bigger number is 45 coming in 5 table yes is 45 coming in 15 table yes because 15 into 3 gets you 45 So your numerator will be just forty-five, okay? And your LCM over here. Now you look over here. All of these are even numbers, so definitely your HCF can be two, okay? But if you look, all of them are getting divided by four. So basically, two into two is your HCF in your denominator. So your final answer will be forty-five upon four. Which, when converted into a mixed form, you get eleven one by four. Yeah, this is your answer. Okay, students, please understand. In lot of entrances, they definitely put up this option as well. So, if you get this as your option, then you can put in, you can select that. Otherwise, if it is a type in answer, then you have to definitely convert it into mixed form because it is a normal standard practice. that you will never ever leave your fractions answer in form of an improper fraction if it is an improper you are going to convert it into mixed form okay 
so now over here we are having 2 4 5 and 11 so now over here see we have 4 which is coming in two stable so we are going to ignore 2 and we do 5 is a prime number which is coming in either numbers as the uh, you know neither of the numerators and 11 is also a prime number so we definitely have to multiply 4 5 and 11 now please understand students you can multiply 4 5 and 11 which is 55 and then multiply by 4 or simply multiply 4 into 5 which is 20 and 20 into 11 will get you 220 okay now in the denominators what is the common factor we are trying to find the HCF right so the common factor of 3 9 6 and 12 we can directly say that it is 3 we cannot have 6 because 6 9 doesn't get cancelled completely by 6 or 9 doesn't come in 6 table so here also my final answer would be 7 t3 and 1 and 3 okay so now here over here let's look at this i want all of you to take a pause and try it on your own at least during the video itself okay so here what you get is see we can say that 16 comes in four stable so we can cancel the four okay but now when you have you have 20 and 40 also in four stable so we have um when you cancel each all of them by 4, what you get is 4, 5 and 10. Okay, so basically you have already taken 4 out and then here I can, out of 5 and 10, I can directly multiply by 10. But the problem over here is all of them are getting divided by 2 or rather at least 2 of them are getting divided by 2. Now, since all of them are not getting divided by 2, so what we'll simply do is, here 5 and 10, we know that 10 comes in 5 stable, so we are going to ignore the 5. And we'll multiply 4, 10 and 4, which was again dividing all of them. Okay, so basically 4 into 4, which is 16 into 10 is going to get you 160 divided by. Now, over here, if you look closely, again 9, 15, 27 and 45. So again, here... Oh, sorry, this was 18, my bad. So, if you look, all of them are getting divided by 9. So, the highest common factor is 9. Okay. So, my final answer. Now, again, we are going to convert this into a mixed form. So, we will get 1. And then 16 may say, if we take 9, so we are left with 7 and 7 and 0. So, again, 7. And then we are left with... Uh, 7 and 9 okay so this is my final answer now coming to the part of your DIY do let me know what is the answer of or what is the LCM of this fractions 8 upon 9 10 upon 27 and uh, Let's take 64 upon 81. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for now. I'll very soon see you in the next video.